Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equation? We have x plus y equals to 10, then x times y equals to 21. Then we want to find the value of x squared plus y squared. Here we have two methods. The first one, method one from here. We can work for the from the fourth. Let's leave this as equation one, this as equation two. And uh, from equation 2 here, we have x, y, x times y, that's equal to 21. Then from here, we can make x the subject, that is, we divide both sides by y. y cancel out here. Then we have x left here, which is equal to 21 over y. So let's leave this as equation 3. Then from equation 1, we have x plus y equals to 10. Then we substitute the value of x here to be 21 over y, then plus y equals to 10. Then this is the over 1, 10 over 1 here. The SCM here is y, let's multiply through by y. Then this times y will be 21 plus y times y will be y square then equals to 10 y then let's take 10 y here then rearrange to form an equation then we have y square minus 10 y plus 21 will then be equals to 0 so here we can solve this by factorizing here we can separate minus 10 y as minus 7 y minus 3 y and also when we multiply we get plus 21 y square so we had one y square here then plus 21 here which is equal to zero then from here we group this one to two what is common here is y into bracket y minus seven then minus three is common here we have also y minus seven left which is equal to zero then from here we have y minus 7 common, we take it out, then the mean y minus 3, which is equals to 0. Then from here the two cases are y minus 7 equals to 0, or y minus 3 equals to 0. So from here we have y equals to 7, and uh, this side we have y equals to 3 value of x we can use the equation 3 from x equals to 21 over y then let's say this is y1 to get x1 now that will be 21 over y1 that's over 7 so x1 from here that's 3 so for the first set of you know solution here we have x1 comma y1 here equals to 3,7 on this side. Then for this other side as well, we can get the value of x here to be. So if this is y2, x2 now will be 21 over y2, which is 3. So x2 here equals to 7. And x comma y, x2 comma y2 here also will be 7 comma 3. And when we look at this, what is serving as x here is y on this side, then y here is x here. Now, what you are interested in finding, which is x squared plus y squared. For this side now, we have x squared plus y squared. It will be the same thing as 3 squared plus 7 squared. And 3 squared here is 9. 7 square here is 49, that's 77, and 9 plus 49, that's 58. So also the same thing on this side, we have x square plus y square, so this is 7 square plus 3 square, so this is going to be 49, excuse me please, plus 9, and that is equals to 50. It as well, so we got 58 for both sides. Then 
for the method 2 in equation 1 we have x plus y equals to 10 so let's bring down equation 1 which is x plus y equals to 10 then let's square both sides of this equation 1 so the square here give us when we expand this we have x square plus 2 times x and y that's plus 2xy then plus y square equals to 10 square that's 100 then here we have when we rearrange we have x square plus y square plus 2xy and the xy from equation equation 2 xy is 21 so we can put you know instead of xy here we can say 2 times 21 which is equal to 100 then from here we have x square plus y square plus here we have 42 equals to 100 then since we are interested in finding x square plus y square we can say x square plus y square now is equal to 100 minus 42 then here x square plus y square will then be equal to 58 which is you know same as what we got earlier so we have x square plus y square to be equal to 58 thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section thank you for watching see you next class